Hello, everybody, and welcome to another special edition of our Community Access. Recently, we went to the Scarecrow Festival in Oxford. If you missed it, we will show you some of the one of our special edition of our Community Access. Welcome back. Here is 30 Minutes, the recent Scarecrow Festival with our reporter Rod Wright and photographer Dan Weiss. Let's watch. Hey, what's up? Hello, I'm Rod Wright and here we are at the 2016 Oxford Scarecrow Festival and I'm here with Joe. Joe, how'd you put this together? Yeah, and this is an event, an annual event of the Oxford Downtown Development Authority Main Street and um, yeah, fall festival. We can uh, celebrate some scarecrows, celebrate the beautiful weather and uh, get people into our downtown businesses. We have a lot of things going on here too. I, was, I love this maze right here with the kids. We got a little uh, tram going around with explain some of the things that are going on. A little bit of everything. Uh, the biggest thing is we have Oxford Farm and Garden. They're here with a, a train for the kids. They got bounce houses. They've got obstacle course. Uh, at 1130 we start our chili cook-off and that's an opportunity to showcase uh, our downtown restaurants. We have five involved um, and they're going to be uh, you know uh, sampling their chilies. Uh, two awards, People's Choice, which is the the big award, um, and you can see it over on the table there, and then a judge's choice, more of a blind taste test. Um, some prominent folks in the community have been selected as judges. Um, we have the, the maze, uh, we have uh, vendors, we have music, a little bit of everything. Good, I, I know when it comes to restaurants, Oxford's really big. Right. We got some of the best restaurants. We have a number of restaurants. We have 13 restaurants within the downtown district, believe it or not. That many? That many. So that, that's really a lot of restaurants. Really a destination uh, for restaurants. And so, you know, downtown uh, Oxford is really the market for, you know, Oxford Township, Addison Townships. People are coming from all over the region uh, to come to downtown and, and have a good time, not only for this festival, but day to day as well. Thanks, Joe. I think we're going to walk around and, and talk to some of the uh, patrons of this place. We've got a lot of little people here. Yeah, a lot of kids. You know, there's a kids contest up at Merge today, Merge Art Studio, up by the Polyan Trail, and there's a hay wagon uh, that's running folks that way. So, Things going on all over town. Thank you, Joe. Thank we're going to go check everything out. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. So how's this crowd control been today? You been messing with anybody? Anybody? Any problems? Okay, apparently this is a very safe venue downtown. Oh, that's kind of silly. <laughs> I'm here with Batman and Robin. How's the crime uh, crime fighting been today? Good. Good. You good? You getting a lot of bad guys? Yep. Who's this guy behind you? Robin. Come here, Robin. Are you getting any bad guys out there? How's the crime rate been? It's been pretty good today. Thanks, Batman. All right. Bye, Robin. <laughs>
Okay, I'm with a couple ghouls here. I hear the Transylvania twist playing. Can we get some dancing? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and your name is Isabella. Oh, that's a good Halloween name. And yours? Maddie. Natty, yeah. Isn't that Isabella kind of a Halloweenish name, you think, yeah. maybe? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of Victorian and all. Very nice. You girls are from Oxford, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Take us off with some more twist. Canine Stray Rescue does just that. Rescue stray dogs for new families. But they need your help. Become a volunteer at Canine Stray Rescue League of Michigan. Take dogs for walks, help them socialize with others, and help them get adopted. Fill out an application and help a family add a new member today. Okay, not only do we have wonderful things to do, they also have a little personal touch here. Tell me what, what happened here. They are so sweet. I was so upset that there wasn't any donuts here this year. And within an hour, they left their table, went and bought a whole bunch of donuts, came and personally found me and told me that they have donuts now. <laughs> they, have donuts. they have everything. And then you found the one thing they didn't have. And they made it happen. And they made it happen. There you go. Oxford, man. This is awesome. Thank isn't it? you. And you, who are you? My name is Angela Halleck. Angela, thank you very much. Thank you. So Oxford Bank has graciously went out and purchased donuts for the community. So. Well, thank you very much. They look great. And they're homemade, too. I made them this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are at the chili cook-off booth. How does it work? <laughs> you go taste the chili. There's four different stations. You get one ticket, and you just vote on the one you want the best. You like the best. Now, what are our choices? The yeah. grill. There's Victoria's. There's Sullivan's. And then there's Witches. Oh, we got some good ones here. We do. We have some good ones. Oh, we're gonna have to go check it out. Can Can you tell me who's winning? I cannot. That is a secret. Do you ever, do you ever like shake the thing, see who's winning? You know, we just. Started. You could do that. You know, you're inside. I probably could, but uh, I cannot tell you. Yeah, and we should probably put a little something on it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Chili cook off. All right, I'm here with Jerry Kremen for Sullivan's Tavern. It's so weird so, being in this setting, not being uh, up in the up in the high school doing soccer for varsity, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so what do we have? What are the special ingredients? Uh, uh, can you tell? Uh, chef, will, he'll cut my head off if I, if I give away too much. But what uh, what I can tell you is that uh, we serve. Uh, it's actually a premium uh, black Angus. Uh, ground beef, uh, about three parts that, one part uh, premium ground pork. Uh, we got a multitude of white beans, kidney beans. Um, obviously there's some a little bit of heat in there, not too much, which is the key. You know, everybody thinks piling too much heat into a chili is the way to go. We don't think that way. Um, there are a couple of different ingredients there that uh, you gotta keep secret, huh? It's pretty, pretty awesome, though. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. And we got uh, some uh, condiments here, just in case people are interested. Some chopped bunny jalapenos, and we actually have some. Uh, actually, you've had our burger before, right? So we've had the porter cheddar. Uh, it's caught up. It's uh, basically it's a Guinness porter cheddar, I'm porter from Ireland with the Wexford cheddar as well, and a little bacon seasoning if people want to get crazy. And yeah, two years in a row we've uh, we've, we've we've won this. So. Um, yeah. You got the title to, to, yeah. to maintain here. Yeah, yeah basically, yeah. So, it, no, but there's some good competition this year. You know, we got Vicky, we got Witches, we got the Ox, we got a whole host of people. So We, we have the best restaurants. Yeah, we do, we do. We're very lucky in Oxford. That's what we are really known for here in Oxford is our, is our family yeah. our family oh, yeah. eateries, the yeah. best. It's, it's The people that come into us, our regulars, everyone. I mean, it's just such a great community, and uh, we're blessed to be a part of it. And uh, I'm not just saying this because I want to win or want to tug on the heartstrings and, and stuff like that, but uh, we're, we're just you know, pleased to be a part of, of, of this uh, Scarecrow Festival, which has been a huge success every year. And I'm glad they postponed it until this weekend because the weekend they were having weather, it was yeah. horrible. It was yeah. good Irish weather, but trust me, no one would have come out. In the <laughs> 
Well, every time I get in trouble, instead of buying flowers, I take my wife to your restaurant, and it usually gets me out of trouble. <laughs> gets a lot of men into trouble, though. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. Well, it looks like the ox is doing a little bit different here. They're making it right in front of the people, right? Oh, yeah. So what you got in the chili? Uh, there's beans, peppers, uh, beef, red and green peppers, a little bit of chili uh, powder. That's about it in there. Sounds good. Looks good. A little cheese in there, some onions, and you can make it up as people like it. And they'll make it right for you. This is the ox. Uh, everything's made fresh. This is fresh. Everything is also made from scratch. This is all made from scratch in our restaurant from our awesome employees. I'm being filmed. It's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I just took the mic there. You were doing so well. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so, well, keep going about witches. I know you. You guys make the the best subs in the world. I just I'm covered in flour right now because I just got done making bread. So we make all of our bread from scratch. We make all of our soups, all of our sauces. Everything is fresh. We smoke our own meat there as well. So everything is awesome and everything is really fresh and I think it's like really good quality and it's way better than... You would be right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I was at a, a volleyball tournament on the other side of the state, and I was talking to some parents from uh, other communities. They knew about which. Hey, we got to go to Oxford. They knew about witches. That, your reputation is great. Yeah, it is because um, uh, we have people like I go and I'm like, oh yeah, I work at witches. They're like, witches. I've heard about it, but I've never been there. I heard it's really good. I'm like, you should go there. It's really good. I like the hammer burger. That's my favorite sub. So now that big sub where where uh, you get on the wall. Um, When's the last time somebody's done that? I have no idea. I'm actually new. Okay. <laughs> so. It's a tradition there. And it's got, they got a great big sub. I guess you got to eat it in how long a, a amount of time? I'm not sure. We don't do that anymore. You don't? Oh, that was a great tradition. That was the Witchzilla, but we do have the son of a Witchzilla that's there. To, uh, it's still a really big sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I, I could never do the big. I'm sure I couldn't do the son either, yeah. but I sure like to try. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, what, what's in the chili now? Can you? Can you tell us? Um, I, from what I know of, there's some ground beef portobellas, some tomato sauce, uh, basil, got some nice like seasonings like paprika and pepper. Um, it's just made from scratch. I'm not fully sure what goes in it, to be honest. Cause You're selling it pretty well, though. I, thank you. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. It's got a nice kick to it and also a little bit of sweetness, which is always amazing. Sweet and sour or, or sweet and hot? Yeah, do you want to try some? You know I do. I am here with Miss Victoria from Victoria's, right? Am I correct? You are correct. <laughs> I am correct. I tell you, I just had that. Oh my goodness, is that good. What's in that? Thank you. It's a little bit different. We have a smoked chicken, chorizo sausage. Our base is black beans and right brain CEO stout porter. Wow, and there's a just a little bit of spice, not too much. And there's a lot, yeah, not too spicy. I didn't want to get it too hot, and uh, we've got a lot of different things in there for depth of flavor, all our secret ingredients. You can't say. Sullivan's wouldn't say anything either. Now, they, they won last year. Are we going to get them this year? Gosh, I hope so. I, I tell you, I, it, it was good. So. <laughs> Thank you very it's much. Not, it's a beautiful day and a lot of fun. Well, you have a wonderful restaurant down there, and uh, that great everything's quality everything's quality in town your competition even is tough yeah competition is tough competition is tough which is good keeps us on our game it's a friendly competition here too it is it? of course it is yes so this will be a lot of fun today i'm looking forward to it well thank you miss victoria oh, yeah, from victoria. victoria's yes go there i tell you my wife loves it thank you all the chilies are great i can't decide and i gotta vote so i'm just gonna I'm sorry, it was just too hard.
we have a lot of vendors here as well. And, and how's how's the day been? It's been pretty good so far. Yeah, you. What do you have for sale here? I have purses and hats and scarves and jewelry. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I notice all the ladies and the little girls around here. Oh yes, yes, definitely. Pretty much a lot of all girl stuff. We do have a little bit of guy stuff, but Some girls spend more money, right? Yes, they do. Well, we. I don't know. We spend more money on the big things. Right. Right. Yeah. Our toys are bigger. Yes. Well, good. Hopefully, you'll be back next year. Oh, I will. This is my fourth year. So. Really. Yeah. Oh, well, good. Thank you very much for coming every year. Um, I do paintings with Crayola crayons and button work and mason jar work. Now, is this your first year? Yes. And what do you think? I love it. Yeah, of course you're going to say I love it. I got a camera in front of you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, very good. We're going to have our camera go around and look at some of your your merchandise. All right. Sounds and great. And you did this yourself? Yep. It's all mine. Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. You were the first one to eat your pie. Yeah, was it good? Do you eat a lot? Do you eat a lot like that at, at home? Whole pie. No, you just she just did it today. Thank you, Hannah. All right, all right. Oh, perfect. A little bit shy. Well, I'm here with Jerry. Jerry, it was a great day here. Was, it really was. All the things going on. Pie eating contest, yeah. chili cook off. Uh, some music in the background. You got some uh, little train, little farm train that's running around. To the, there's a line down the block to get on. It was awesome. It was uh, the Lone Rangers here. Uh, no, it was amazing. It was, it was such a smart idea to actually postpone it, as I said, two weeks later. I mean, again, it's always 50 50 chance. It could have been raining today, too. You never know. But it, it really brought out the families. You know, the weather, it was amazing. Uh, it's like 70 degrees today. And, and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's such a good turnout. You know, well, well, you know, Jerry. Jerry's a new business owner, so you're, you're new to the community. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm yeah. so glad you picked Oxford. Oh, yeah. But uh, you're the guy to talk to. You you have that forth through the trees kind of look. So what do you think of Oxford so far? Oh, I love what, it. What is that? Two years? Three uh, years? You've been here? Half years now, but uh, all three definitely, um, including you know construction and stuff like that. Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, you know, I, I scouted out many locations uh, to and you to put, and I picked Oxford. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you know, I camped out in the streets. You know, some nights to to, to see the traffic, the walk, the, you know, the foot traffic traffic in general I mean you're on 24 you know it's, it's a great place to for exposure you know we got a building right on 24 there and uh, it's uh, the people are amazing you know we built so many greats um, you know people come in as, as I don't ever call them customers they're guests and uh, you know they turn into family members so many people I mean it's just a great community you know couldn't ask for anything better you know I know we see it too so much in, in at the high school with the sports and how much these businesses uh, contribute to the, to the kids and yeah. to the community and it works together the private sector the school mm -hmm. system the, you know we had uh, 21st century uh, mm -hmm. real estate yeah. they say that's what people look for when they go look at a community yeah. guys like Joe running this and everything mm -hmm. so great great community and oh it's awesome yeah I, you know it's 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 an odd kind of dynamic I, you know I live in Lake Orion and Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> but it's because they're green, right? Yeah, and you're Irish. It was the the house was a steal. It was, it was a great price. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, I live in Lake Orion, and uh, you know, it's you know, we got a great attachment to Lake Orion too. But you know, being in Oxford, it's just uh, spent all my time here, so I definitely feel uh, a little more attached, I think, to Oxford than than, than Lake Orion. But. I don't spend too much time in Lake Orient. See, this guy starts a business here, and he, he does this, and then he volunteers his time to cover the kids on the soccer and mm -hmm. all that. That's what Oxford's all about. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, of You're oh, what make you. Thank Oxford you. great. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We're trying. <laughs> and for me, Rod Wright, alongside my camera and Dan Swice, we want to thank you so much. Hope you had as much fun watching as we did being here. Yeah, I Get here next year. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day.
There you go, another special edition of our Community Access. Our program is regularly day Monday through Friday, 9.30 and 1 o'clock and again at 7. Then on Saturday at 9.30 and 7.30 and Sunday at 7. Well, we hope you enjoyed our program. For our reporter Rod Wright and photographer Dan Zweiss and Ashley Point, I am Bill Service and you have a great, great week.